everyone. I'm going to be making a video about what a default is. And this is a term that is used a lot in tactical FPSs, uh, works in CS and in Valorant. And I think a lot of people aren't too sure what it is and what it means to be defaulting. So I'm going to be trying to clear that up for everybody. So a default is a term that just says that you're going to be taking map control somewhere, usually mid, while you're holding extremities or another part of the map. On a normal default, most people are going to see that you're going to just be taking mid control with the majority and you're going to be holding usually one uh, on the extremities. And while you're taking map control, you're not only getting the control, but you're getting information on what they're using, on what you're seeing, and you're going to be able to make a good informed decision on what your end round should be or where you could possibly get a mid round kill. However, it's not always going to be a default strictly towards mid. There are defaults where you do take extremities first and then you hold mid passively and you hold the other extremity passively that you're not at because it's weak. So why is the default important? A default is important because you're keeping your opponents honest. You're going to have a lot more room throughout the map because if you just start on one side of the map, your opponents are going to know that you're not towards mid, so there's not going to be any potential splits. And it's not towards the other side of the map if they pushed it and got information that you're not there. And a default is really nice because not only are you going to be normally taking a lot of mid control uh, on a normal default, but you're also going to be able to fake your defaults in different types of ways. And that's going to let you push the extremities while faking mid control or whatever type of control. And they're going to think that you're just doing your normal defaults, your standard round, while you're actually doing something completely different. A default also gets you a lot of information. If you don't ever default, you're just going to be running into sites blindly. You're just doing things for no real reason. You're just picking a strat out of a book. And that is just not the most optimal way to play. It might win you sometimes, uh, but you'll never be a champion because of it. And most of the good teams in the world know how to default. They know how to take map control. A default is really just a fancy word for taking map control. And the best teams in the world know exactly how to do that. And, and stepping away from the tactical side of it, it also lets your players have more freedom. And they're able to do little micro plays here and there. They might see how someone's playing on one side of the map. And uh, they'll call to like to the IGL and say exactly how they want to you know, take this guy out. Or they think a certain part of the map is really free. And then that lets you get straight into a strategy that you know is going to work. Okay, going to be getting straight into CS here and showing what a default is on Mirage. This is a map that most people know, but not everyone knows exactly all the ways that different teams default on it. So the one that pretty much everyone knows is you smoke top mid or you smoke window and then you go a classic one palace or ramp and then the other three are working mid in some type of way usually with a molotov flashes behind or the, the flash here and then the one guy b which is either going to be putting pressure or going slow depending on how the mid guys are taking it so that is the classic thing that everyone sees and then the thing that is more uh, common nowadays is uh, there's a couple of different spawns that people have to do fast window smokes right from spawn so it's way quicker and in the classic default you could either have three mid or you can have two top mid and then you can have one underpass and then one upper b so the upper b guy can either be throwing his nays in some type of way where it goes here and then he's like flashing and he's putting a lot of pressure and then the underpass guy is just holding for a little bit he's making sure that no one comes up and then he's going to take underpass as soon as the top mid guys are ready usually at the end of a smoke so for the three mid guys on a class default, if you're going very slow, which typically it is, then as soon as you get out mid, then you're going to smoke window, you're going to smoke top con. And then at this point, as soon as con and ladder are cleared, you're already in your end game. So at this point of a default, you take all of the mid control, you get the parts of the map that you want to, and then you're going to decide exactly what your end game is going to be. And, and that is what you're going to be having as your goal for in most defaults. And then the A guy over here has freedom to pretty much do whatever he wants. He's either going to go palace and he's going to lurk it and go very slow or he's going to go ramp and he's also going to go very slow. And the point of this default is the A guy and the B guy in uh, both of these cases are just holding the map control. The B guy is not trying to go out there and just die for no reason unless he has some read and he's just really feeling it for some reason. The A guy is also doing the same. He's just holding and not dying while the mid guys do all the work in the round and they get you to some type of mid slash late round. And that is pretty much the classic default that everyone knows. With a lot of these defaults, you want to make sure that you're not confined into a certain type of utility that you have to throw every single time. If you throw your defaults all the same way and you want to slightly vary it up, 
then you should be mixing in a lot of different defaults. So they're not sure which one you're doing, if you're faking it, if you're just going to be getting map control and holding. It should be looking very different each round while you're holding map control and then taking it later while holding extremities. All right, looking at some examples of the classic defaults, we have this round where they're going to be doing just a top mid smoke. They're going to have two upper B slash underpass and two going out mid. So simple and boomage, they just flash themselves out and they're going to be going very slow. Electronic, slow towards palace again. And then bit and perfecto are going to be going upper B slash underpass. And they, he is holding for this. Unfortunately, uh, he's going to be dying here. But Perfecto should be here for the trade, but at least they know that he's stuck underpass, right? And they are already out mid. Um, but they're actually, they were actually in the perfect default to counter this. They had two guys upper B instead of the 1-3-1 uh, classic default. And then after that, this point, it kind of gets a little scuffed. So we're going to go to another example. So this one, another one from Navi. We're going to be seeing the same type of thing. They're going to be going 1-2-2 two, two with Boomish and Simple. They're going to be going out mid with Flashes. And then Perfecto and Bit are going to be working together at upper B slash underpass. This time they're clearing it out with a flash. And Perfecto is going to be going slow here. And he's making sure that no one pushes upper B. Even though that Bit is... I mean, it's really a 1-3-1, one, one, but they're starting 1-2-2. Two, two. He is here at mid, and he's going to be using his smoke for them. And again, at this point, when you look at it, they already have to be looking at their end game. Because they only have two smokes left. They smoked window and top con. And that kind of signals to the other team that the end game is coming. It is coming soon. And as soon as that they throw these smokes, they need to finish taking this map control. They have to make sure that connector is clear and they have to make sure that ladder is clear. Or they leave it open depending if they're going up connector. So Bit throws a molly. And the way that Navi in this round, they decided to end it is they don't actually take a lot of the map control and ladder and all that type of stuff. Instead, they choose to just do another window smoke with a molly window. So because they don't have any more smokes, they have to use a molly. And they're just going to be going up close uh, on cat. And they're just going to be trying to go up cat while the top con smoke is there. And they know that most people are not just going to peek window out here. And even holding this angle is not very advantageous for the CTs. And they can just go into their end game. Right here, we got a classic default from Gambit. And you're going to be seeing they do the late window smoke. But they're going to be going 1-3-1. One, one. And then they have Axile upper B. He's just making sure that he's not going to be getting pushed here. And enters after throwing that. He just goes ramp and just does whatever he wants at this point. And then the mid guys here are just going to be going out mid with whatever flashes and utility that they have for their team. And you see they're just out here and they're just waiting. All these guys are just waiting here. And Axile actually gets a pick on underpass because config uh, went under early. And then Gambit here, as soon as they have that kill and they're out mid, they know no nothing's going to be pushing them. They're going to start sending people back already. And they're going to have Hobbit. He's going to smoke window. And Naphne is going to be doing the top con smoke. So to them, they're already regrouping towards A here. They're already ready. So this con smoke is landing while they're already ready. And the CTs, they're kind of uh, preparing to fight mid here. You can see they're all just towards mid. While all of Gambit is already completely repositioned towards A. So they're already doing their end game right now, Gambit. They did their window smoke and their top con smoke. It's end game for them. They're ending towards A. And since Complexity thought that their end game meant they were going to take mid control and then, you know, go con, go ladder, then end game, then they wanted to fight that and disrupt that. But instead, Gambit just threw it and just went towards A. So this one again, we have Inters. He's going to be doing the top mid smoke, throwing a Molotov towards Connector. And they have a 1-2-2, two, two, which is going to be a 1-3-1. One, one. And they held for a little bit. And then they did a late window smoke. And then the two upper B guys actually completely regrouped. So now there's four towards mid, essentially. And he smokes top con for them. And now it's their end game. Right? There's a top con smoke. And then Hobbit is sticking around, and he's going to be throwing another top con smoke, maybe trying to show them that they're going to go up cat, but they're actually just all up with B. And Naphne can even use this from ladder room. The next default that teams are running on Mirage is they have fast window smokes from a couple different spawn points. They have, well, some teams do it from pretty much all the spawn points. And then they take three fast out mid, or sometimes four, and they get 
quick mid out here and then just one guy's going slow a or one guy's going slow b still depending if they did one three one or not and they can either go fast in the mid ramp and put a lot of pressure on connector and just do a really heavily contested uh mid default or they can just go quick out mid with flashes and just get to the box get to chair get to second chair and everyone just holds and they're just waiting for the cts to do something crazy so they're waiting for you know the ct to go through this bottom con smoke with the flash from over top and if they did a fast mid control and they got out mid quickly with the flashes if they if he did that and he tries to come out then they're just going to kill him right after the flash on any of the fast window smokes whether you're going to go fast like super aggressive here or you're going to go slow and hold for pushes it's going to be the same type of thing where they're just going to smoke window smoke top con or maybe they do some type of variation where they just smoke window and then the opera goes for a pick over and then they smoke this and then they just go up cat but either way they're they're just getting out mid they're going to take this control in the same way that the classic default did it and then they're going to be going into their end game so we're going to be looking at some examples now of a demo between navi and spirit and some other uh, teams as well with gambit and heroic um, and then this one is going to be the fast mid window smoke uh, default variations so on this one we have electronic he's doing one from spawn and he's just smoking window and he's going to be going a however he wants perfecto is going to be throwing a flash here and he's just going to be going upper b and he's just going to be holding he's just making sure that no one pushes him and now with simple boomich and bit they're going to be going out mid and they're going to be going slow so they're just throwing their flashes they're getting out mid and they're just going to wait so if anyone actually peeked off mid here they would actually destroy them if they did the flash and run through here then uh they definitely would have punished that if they just ran off cat they definitely wouldn't punish that and that's the point of it and then as we see here mer actually gets a little antsy and and boomich completely punishes him on cat he goes for a flash play and boomich just destroys him and everyone's still holding the b guy is still holding a guy is still holding and they still have mid control and now they can finally go in after a little bit of their next step. So they smoked window, smoked top con, and then they went B. This next example, we're going to have actually two towards A, and Perfecto is going to be throwing the window smoke, and they're going to be doing 1-1 one, one towards A, where Electronic and Perfecto are towards A. And then the other three are mid going very quickly with flashes, and they're going to be getting a window boost. And their plan of this round is to just get someone on window and be very aggressive on A and mid splitting quickly but they got all of this control extremely quickly as you can see they just run out mid they have it all already and then they also have the a pushes which they're planning to end here okay this last example for the fast uh, mid window smoke default is going to look very very good from navi they're going to have electronic he's going to be going a doing whatever he wants he's just going to be holding very passively and then perfecto he's going to go flash them out mid and then he's going to go B and do whatever he wants and he's being very passive again and then mid players this time instead of going slow like they did the other round they're going to be going quick and they're going to be getting all this map control and putting a lot of pressure on the con guys so simple is going to be holding this and then Boomich, he's also just going to be running out mid and he's going to go close and he's just going to spam the heck out of this con smoke here and the CTs are already feeling pressured and Navi knows that they're not playing for mid and they have a lot of room here so Boomish is going to be going quick connector and he's going to be putting a lot of pressure onto it. And then Simple's going to resmoke window for him. Boomish is going to resmoke top con. And as soon as they smoke window here and they smoke top con, you're going to see that they get the rest of the map control where they know that connector is clear and then they're going to clear out ladder. And now they have to decide on like what their end game is. They honestly kind of had to do a little bit earlier because they only have one smoke now and it's unfortunately on their A lurker. So they're in a really tough spot in this round but at this point you would be thinking this is end game because they got the map control they wanted they held the extremities they're still there and now they can pretty much decide on what they want to do the next type of defaults would be the extremity based defaults and on mirage most people are going to be doing this by going 311 or they're going to be going 113 so 311, usually you do this with an opper on both extremity defaults because it's hard for just rifles. But you could either do two ramp and then one guy is just waiting up here and then the other guy is supporting him and he's either going to be doing like the lamp flash or he's going to flash over halls and this guy's going to go for some type of pick. 
and then they're going to pause. And while these guys are three at A, this guy over here is just going to be holding very passively. And he's just looking at mid. If they take mid, he's just going to go for a shot and he's probably just going to tell his team that they, take, they took mid. Now the three A guys are going to go out because they have all the freedom. They know that the CT has just put a lot of pressure towards mid. That means that the three A guys can start going out. That means that there's only going to be one A, most likely, or he's going to be playing retake from Khan and they're not going to see anybody. And then same thing with upper B. If the one guy B sees something, if they pushed in some, some way over here, he's going to be communicating that to his team. And either he's going to say, oh, an opper just took all this control up here. We need to make sure that we clear this out before we go into our end game. And as soon as you get the opper off of this angle, then you can go into your end game after that. Because if the CT has got this info and they know that it's completely clear, then they can just stack towards whatever site that you're going to. And it's very important for the extremity players to, to be very vocal about that. And then for the extremity default base towards B, it's going to be the same type of thing. You're going to be throwing mid stuff just like on all the other ones. And then the one A guy is either going to go palace or ramp, and he's going to be playing it however he wants. One guy is going to be staring at mid. He's going to probably be throwing like a flash, flash, or he's going to run up here and molly towards connector, just like how you would on the other ones. You're kind of faking the default. And then the three upper B guys are going to be working together in some way. One guy's probably going to be holding underpass, and then the other two are going to be uh, working this. Maybe an opera is posted, he sees nothing, and then he goes for a pick. And if you get a pick, you can actually explode. And that's the really nice thing about both extremity defaults. If you're going to go towards B or A, if you get a pick, you can actually just explode off of it, and then your 1-1 one, one guys can just become lurkers. Let's get into the extremity defaults. And for the first one, we are going to be looking at some 113s. And this is an eco. It's simple having an op, but it's still the same either way. Electronic is going to be smoking top mid just so it looks normal. And he's going to be going A and just holding. And then Boomich, he's just throwing a flash out mid. He knows it's important. You can't just throw nothing at mid. And then the three B guys, you're going to see like simple is going to be holding for that upper B push. Bit is going to be looking at the underpass push. And then Perfecto is just here in case he gets a kill and they could just explode. And they're just like praying that they get a, a pick here. This is an eco round, but this is how it looks where they have a lot of freedom to do a lot of things here at B because they know nothing's pushed mid and they know nothing's pushed A. And if any, if they do luckily get a pick, this is an eco, then they can win the round. In this round, we're going to be looking at another 1-1-3 where Electronic is going to be going towards A. He's not going to be using his smoke. Perfecto is going to be doing a fast window smoke. And then Boomish is just going to be throwing stuff towards mid. And he's actually going out. Uh, it is an anti-eco this round, but it's still showing the same principles. And then if we look at the B guys, Simple is going for the upper B pick. Bit is holding underpass again. And Perfecto is also here just in case. And they're kind of just slowly working this and just seeing what information they get. They mollied at Van, saw no one's there. And they will eventually be going out here. And that is, that is how the default is looking. So on this anti-eco, their goal is just to punish any pushes while having the majority stacked on one spot ready to go out if they get anything. This round is the extremity default more towards A. So we're going to see Electronic is doing top mid smoke. So as you see, they're still like putting a lot of stuff towards mid. They're making sure that it, it's not quiet there because otherwise it's, it's very obvious what you're doing. And they have Electronic going towards Palace. And they have Bit and Simple working together at ramp. So Simple goes for the initial cross pick, doesn't get it. And then after that, he's just ready to help Bit get a quick pick here. He smokes it out, gets a flash over, and he can't get anything, so he just falls back. Uh, he's just being safe. And then if we look at the other guys, we have Perfecto at upper B. And he's just holding, he's listening, he hears nothing, and he's in a very advanced position in Kitchen here. And then conversely, we have Boomich, he's throwing stuff mid just on all the other defaults. And just to reiterate again, you need to make sure that you're putting noise at mid. If, you don't, if you're doing an extremity default and you're not putting any noise at mid, then they know that something's different. Either they think you're going into a strat or they think you're doing extremity default, one or the other. So this is another extremity default from Gambit. And they're going to be having three towards A in the 3-1-1. And Shiro's going to be holding the ramp push. And then Hobbit and Inters are going to be at Palace, making sure that nothing pushed while Axile is making sure that no one is pushing B, and Naphany is making sure no one's pushing mid. So you see how passive they are, they're making sure nothing is happening, 
Nafani is ready to give it up instantly. And at this point here, Nafani is going to be going back and he's going to be doing a window smoke, showing to complexity that they want to take mid now. And normally what teams do after they do a window smoke like this, not always, but sometimes they do a run boost with the opera and they take mid. So from that information, Poison is ready to, to counter this and Config is also ready here just in case they're doing that. And then it's very nice for Gambit because they're already ready. They had everyone towards A in the beginning. They were just holding the whole time. Shiro was holding for pushes, seeing if anyone's uh, peeking. And now they can just go out A, just walking it out and trying to get picks. And then finally, we have the fake default variations, which is where you're going to be faking that you're defaulting and then you're going to be going to some type of strategy. And I think that most people already know about like what faking a default is, but essentially you're just going to be throwing the same nades, whatever they are. So if you've been doing a top mid smoke for most of the match and you've been mauling con and then flashing over going out mid, then you wait a little bit, you smoke window. They're going to know like that's how the pacing of the round feels and how it looks. Same thing. If you've been doing a fast window smoke from one of the spawn points, and then you're running out mid quickly. If the CTs don't hear like a bunch of flashes mid, they're already going to think something's weird. So you want to make your fake defaults look exactly like your normal defaults. And then you can just play off of that timing and that pacing and go somewhere else very quickly. And then to wrap this up, why it's so nice to have defaults is that you can do fake defaults. So in this round, they're going to be doing the window smoke and then the top mid smoke. And they're sending Axile to just throw all of his utility towards mid. And lucky for him, complexity is completely all towards mid here, while the other guys are two ramp and two palace, and they're just going to be going out A here. So here, it, it didn't go completely according to their plan because they wanted to go kind of quickly uh, out ramp, but JKS ended up spotting them. So they had to kind of pause on, onto their strat, uh, and they, they weren't sure how many were there since Exile didn't really hear anything. And they had to go into some other type of uh, end round where they ended up just going A anyway. For another display of the fake defaults this is actually going to be faking that they're going fast mid and then going slow and then doing something off of that so enters is going to be doing uh one of the window smokes he's it's not the extremely fast ones but they are still going to be going majority out mid and they're taking these fights extremely early while they're already sending enters and hobbit towards a and as soon as these guys get out mid they instantly just run back all of them and they're just going to go out a with everybody so if you kind of see how the difference is, is they did the fast window smoke, went out mid, instantly gave it up because the CTs might be thinking, oh, okay, they're going to go out mid, hold, window smoke, top con smoke. And then the CTs in that time might be preparing some type of re-mid fight. But actually Gambit's just running all the way A with everybody. And then actually the same thing in the following round of the same demo. They did the same thing with the fast window smoke. So they get out mid here with pretty much everybody. They're just letting them know that they're here. They're throwing stuff, throwing utility. And then they have Nafani and Axile throwing the window and top con smokes. And then they're running back as fast as they can to upper B. And they're just trying to like change that timing where complexity are already thinking that it's end game to them. And they might be thinking that there's, some, there's something going on at mid. They're not going extremely fast outside B here, but they are grouping quickly after they did their window and top con smoke. And they could have even done it quicker to make the timing a little bit more favorable for them. I hope that this video helped you guys kind of understand what a default is, the structure of some rounds, how you can change up what defaults you're doing, where you can either be doing a mid focused one, a slow mid focused default, a fast mid focused default. You can be doing an extremity default towards one side of the map an extremity default towards the other side of the map. And you can give your opponents a lot of different looks. You can let your players go for picks in the ways that they want to. They can change the pacing of the rounds and just give a, a really good advantage to your team if you know how to be doing this and your extremity players aren't getting picked off. It leads you to a lot of different strategies that as an IGL you can call and, and not feel forced into different ones and that you're just picking a strategy out of a book that you have. Really hope that this helped you guys and make sure that you like, comment, subscribe on the videos and let me know if you like this type of content where I'm just kind of explaining these things a little bit more. And yeah, thank you guys.